I have a Fitbit Ace 3 here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. So first thing is go ahead and turn the Fitbit uh, Ace 3 on. Just hold both sides like this and just press it. Just keep holding until it turns on. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your device like this is my iPhone. Okay. So you want to go to the App Store or if you have, this is an iPhone, if you have an Android phone, then go to the Google Play Store and you want to download Fitbit. Okay. The Fitbit app looks just like this. After you download and install it, go ahead and open it up. Now, if you don't already have a Fitbit account, you need to go ahead and create one. Okay. So go ahead and create one. And it doesn't matter if you have, if you use a Fitbit um, watch yourself, like for instance, but for me, I do have a, I have a Fitbit Inspire 2. What I'm going to do is this is the main account. This is my account, the parent or guardian account. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to add my son under the family account. And once I do that, I can go into parent view or kids view. I can go into kids view. I can see all his information. He can see it on there. But I can also, after I set everything up on here, everything uh, once I set up everything on here, what I can also do once I set up my kid on here, I can also grab if my if your kid has another device, his own device like a phone or iPad or whatnot, you can go ahead and sign into your Fitbit app onto his device, and then he'll be able to see everything. But it's going to be in kids view. But you can also switch it to parents view. Same thing, everything on your main phone that you can do on your kid's um, device as well. The only thing is your kid is not going to be able to go into the, um, the main account, which is the parent's account, because then they would need to log in information. However, you can go into your kid's device and you can log into the, your, the parents or basically your account because you know your login information. Okay, so go ahead and grab your device. Again, this is my iPhone here. And go ahead and open it up. You, you want to go ahead and sign in. And then you want to go ahead and just tap on uh, today. And then top left-hand side, you want to tap the avatar photo right there. Now, what you want to do is, I already have mine set up, but it, I think it says like um, create family. So what you want to do is tap on that. And then you want to make the guardian, of course, a uh, parent, you know, you. You might want to add a spouse or whatnot. And then down here, you add your children, okay? So down here, you would want to click this, create child account. So tap on that, and then you will have to put in your password. So I'll go ahead and confirm that. Okay, now I'll go ahead and click on next right here. You want to go ahead and read through this, okay? Direct notice to parents. So read through all that, and then after you're reading, done reading, you can go ahead and tap on I agree. And then from here, you want to put your child's name, your child's username, you know, the sex birthday, uh, height and all that, and just keep clicking next. And then once you're done all that, now if you go back, if you go down to today, and then if I tap on the uh, top left hand side of the avatar, now this is my account, VL, that's me. If I wanted to um, log into my kid's account, I would tap on my family here, and then the kid that I have set up to is this one right here, I would simply tap on switch to kid view right there and then I'm gonna okay so so now I'm in the kids view right here next thing you want to do now is you want to do a setup okay and just take note let, let me click back here now see I'm in I'm in kids view okay I can go back to parents view if I wish but I'm in kids view right now my son Julius so I want to tap on set up a device and I'm gonna go with the uh, this is the ace 3 here let me tap on that right there let me put in my password Click on confirm. Okay, and you can go ahead and read through this. And then here's the watch right here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on setup ace 3 for Julius. I'm going to tap on that, read through all this, tap on I agree. And then you can go ahead and let it charge. Go ahead and put it on a charger. But sometimes if you have enough battery juice, you don't even need to use a charger to connect. So I'm just going to see if I can connect like this. Okay, I did it. And if it doesn't, doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and connect it to charger. But let's see here, it should work. There's plenty of battery juice on here. So give it one second to find. Okay, looks like I found something. Gives me a four digit number here. My four digit is 7855. Now I'm gonna give this one second. Okay, now it says try it on. Now this is just a, a tutorial here. You can go ahead and just read through this if you want. I'm just gonna keep clicking next. Through all this right here. Next, next, next. Next, next, and then I'm gonna click on done, okay? I'll get an error here, okay, no problem. Let me just click on cancel right there, and okay. So now I'm on my son Julius's account, 
and his ace three is right here, okay? And as right now it's synced. Now, if I want to switch back to parent view to, to see my stats, I simply tap on switch to parent switch to parent view. I'll tap on that. I have to input my password. And I'll click on confirm. And now I'm back into the uh, main account, which is the uh, parent account, basically your account. So from here, I can just keep switching back and forth. I can switch between like mine. I can also um, switch between my son's uh, account, see what's going on. So right now I'm at VL, which is mine. It's connected to my Inspire 2. doesn't matter if you have a Fitbit or not, okay? If I wanted to check out my, uh, my son's stats, I go to family. And then his account was Julia. So I would do switch to kid view. Okay. Now, so now we can leave it on your device as is just like that. Or if you want to go ahead and put it on your son's device, so they have access to it too. If you put it on your um, son, your kid's device, then I mean, both of you will have, you can check your kid's stats on your phone as well. And you can also go into your kid's phone and check their stats. And you can also sign into the um, parent profile um, on either, on either device. Okay. So if you want your kid to have their own uh, Fitbit app on their device, then the only thing you gotta do is, and this is an Android phone by the way, but the only thing you gotta do is download the Fitbit app to your kid's um, device, and then you wanna go ahead and log in. And then once you log in, okay, so now you can see this is the uh, this is VL, this is me, and you can see it's connected to my Inspire too. Now I can do the same thing I can on my, my main phone, okay, so from here, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and, I mean, what I would want to do is go into my, um, put this, set this up for my kid. So I'm in my profile. This is my, let's just say this is my kid's phone. Then I will go to my family and everything is the same on my, my iPhone. Okay. Pretend this is my kid's phone. And then I would just go down here, switch to kid view for my son Julius here and give this one second here. Okay. So this is his account right here on his device. Ace three. Now it says switch to parent view. Now the thing is because it's your kid's device, he's not going to be able to switch it because he's going to need your uh, password. So pretty simple, a little bit confusing. It took me a while to uh, figure this out, but if you guys have any questions or anything, I uh, just comment below, but just remember you can put everything onto your device um, and see your kid's profile and your profile at the same time, regardless if you have your own Fitbit watch or not. But once you have everything set up on one on your phone, you can also set it up on your child's phone, but they can only see the, um, your child can only see their profile. They can't see yours because they would have to log in um, to your main account, which they would need the password. So pretty simple. Questions, issues, comment below. Good luck.